Hey, welcome here. So, what do you think? Friction welding. I've been thinking about this for a bit here. Friction welding is when you basically take a piece of steel and you spin it against another one that it creates enough heat to actually forge weld together. I thought it'd be pretty sweet to try doing that in the lathe today. See what happens. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate your time. And to everybody who bought an ax last week, thank you so much. That helps me to be able to keep making these videos for you. I got about five more ready to go. So if you want one, oh, almost dropped it. Head to the link down below to my website. I can hook you up with an ax. All right, let's head over to the lathe, see what we can do here. So I'm just over here at the lathe and uh, yeah, this thing hates my guts. And it's gonna hate it some more today. What I'm hoping is, I'm just gonna let the cat out of the bag here, is that this is where I can actually start to weld different exotic materials together, like the uh, niobium, maragene, zirconium, titanium, in canal, these types of materials, right? Um, you guys kind of know I'm on that bit of that kick. So anyways, we're just gonna start with doing one that's out of mild steel. I just wanna see if the lathe can do it. And then uh, we'll just keep up in the ante. It, this setup allows me to so easily control the environment with a purge compared to forge welding in the, in the gas forge or in the coal forge. So I think that that could be really promising. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get this thing cleaned up and set up for our first test and just have fun seeing what's gonna happen here. Here we go. Here's a setup. These are the two bars here, and then this will get pushed on while it's spinning. Close the gap up, and then uh, we'll see what will happen. And this video could be over in two minutes. We'll see how this goes. Definitely got hot enough. It's not a super fun ride. It's pretty all over the place. So I'm gonna take it out now and we'll see if it bonded. So if it breaks on the first hit, are we? <sighs> all right, let's just see what happens here. Oh, I actually literally thought that was gonna break. It didn't, okay. Dude, that's incredible. Look at that. Come on, that's incredible. That's as good as a weld as any. Ho <laughs> ho! I mean, you don't beat that. Like just from a blacksmithing side of joining material together for projects, like that's cool. Like that, that has so much potential. I wonder if you can join a small piece to a big piece. So if you span like an inch and a half round if you could sink in um, like a 5 8 round bar. Wouldn't that be a cool joint, 100% fused weld to one and a half by... Do you think it would fuse in? Or do you think I don't know, but I think we better find out. I'll just get these machined up. We'll do it. So to me, it felt like the inch and a half round bar wasn't hot enough and it was just the 5.8 eights that heated up. So either I needed to spend a little bit more time there or I would preheat this inch and a half round. But let's take it out and see what happens and then we'll go from there. There you go. It did have some fusion, but not much. Pretty sure I can get that but I'm gonna keep going because it's actually not what I'm after today. I wanna to keep playing. But I think that's a joint that you could do, which is very, very cool. In canal, titanium, moraging, a few of my favorite materials. I kinda of wanna try titanium. Would it work? Like, these materials are like made to resist this exact application, friction and heat. 
I don't think this is good for the blade. So anyways, this is a piece of in canal, but it's inch and a half round. So we're gonna see if that works any different. I'm scared. Literally like that material was made not to do that. Wow. I can see the heat waves off of this thing. There's like no color at all. So this is the ink canal here and I machined it down to about one inch or so on the end there. We're gonna try that, see if that works. I don't know if you could pick up on that on camera, but it was rattling, rattling really bad. And then it was like, like in a boat when you get onto plane, just whoosh, smooth. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that's stuck? Guess we're gonna have to tap it and find out. All right, let's find out. Okay, let's go over to the vise and really see what this thing can take. Oh, it's gonna break. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, there she cracked. Rats! But, truth be said, that actually was pretty good. Oh yeah, you can see there is like scale in there. It did pretty good on the center, but I would say only 50% welded. These are the two parts I just machined. This is Mar Aging Steel. We are gonna try to friction weld this together. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I hope I got it. It looked really good. It felt like the temperature was good and everything, but talk about potential of a crack line, eh? What a scene. To me, when I look at it, it looks like this one would really benefit from a purge. Well, let's go give it a smack on the old vise there and see what happens. Yeah, I'm not sure on this one. I'm not sure if this weird gray stuff is non-fused. This is the Mar Aging, and I'm gonna actually put it back in. I wanna try it one more time because I felt like maybe, whoopsies, maybe I didn't actually spend enough time when it was up at temperature and get a good weld, and all I have to do right now is just reface this and we can take another weld on it. So I'm gonna do that before I just 100% write this all off. So I kind of screwed that one up because I had the lathe on the wrong speed. It was actually going way too fast and I couldn't stop it very fast and so it just ran away. So I think it probably tore the weld. I guess we'll see. Oh, that's way better. Oh, that's like really good. I bet it, I bet it will break though on the seam. So that was a ton better. And it probably would have been better if I didn't have the lathe run away on me there. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's try it. Let's try titanium.
That was incredible on how fast that heated up and joined. I can't believe it. So let's pull it out and see if it's welded. That was smooth, Tim. Smooth work, bro. So you can see how much material there pushed up and everything. It looks super good. Anyways, let's go smash it. All right, here we go. Ready? That was a good hit. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, that thing is so hard. That is so sweet. Oh! Ooh. Is that good enough? Like that is good enough. How did that work so well? That's incredible. Truly incredible. The start of the day, I thought the titanium was the one that would not work. By a long shot would not work. Mari Jean, in canal. Broke, broke, broke. That's interesting, hey? That's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I also got those five axes available on my website. Link is down below, so check that out if you're interested in that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.